<laughs> what rewards shall the heart of madness yield? Let's check out what is supposed to be the power of its namesake. Can be unlocked, blah, blah, blah. As the golden barbs inflicted eternal agony upon him. Midra held fast to Nanaya's entreating. Endure. The word was a curse. What a wonderful fate this man endured. <laughs> Terribly wonderful. Wonderful stories in Elden Ring every time. What I'm more interested in is receiving equipment of champions. My I wear Midra's rags, please. That would be great. I don't see any kind of... What I want is his headset. I want my my cranium to become a beacon of mad yellow fire. That would be great. I'm seeing no, no drip. But what you give a great sword of damnation. Strength of faith. Strength of faith, baby. That's going to happen. But we also need Midra's Flame of Frenzy. We need both of these. We must have... Both of these. There is no there is no avoiding having both. I think I'm more excited excited to get the spell, but boy am I going to go hunt for a duplication shrine right this freaking moment. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? What? Huh? <laughs> I was I was on my way to try and find the altar duplication altar that I vaguely remember encountering next to the cathedral place and it just started playing this <laughs> Elden Ring has a bug this is literally the first bug I ever see in Elden Ring which is incredible for a game of this size this animation we've already seen, obviously, it's uh, the draining of the water, making a water park in New An Orlando. And now this is... Uh, what? <laughs> Why would this trigger? That is so bizarre. Let me sh uh, show you exactly where I uh, was at. Yeah, yeah, sure. Now there's the side of grace. How exciting. Uh, I wonder if it's going to actually put me here or it's going to spit me back out where I was. That is the most bizarre thing. I've ever seen in this game. Yeah, it just, you know, <laughs> gets me off the horse. <laughs> Puts me back in Shadow Keep. Look, you need to get back to Shadow Keep. There's something very important there. Uh, but I already have that side of grace. I have everything that needs to happen. Anyway, I vaguely remember having a duplication altar somewhere around here. And that's what I was up to. Let me go over here. Uh, we're going to scour this area. And uh, I don't even remember whether I have used it or not. I'm going to check first. You know, I was not, not even trying to to record this part. Whatever. Whatever. Aha! I vaguely remembered it somewhere around here. The question is, did I use it already? I have no memory of having used it. No, I have not used it. Sweet deal, brother. Duplicate the remains of madness. Now we're going to be fully equipped. With madness! Oh, great sword of damnation. I would like to see the description for both of these. Because, you know, the Flame of Frenzy is one of the more interesting things in the game for me. I, I, I just really love the concept of it. Golden great sword that once pierced the body of Midra, master of the Mans. Used by the horn scent in the execution of a damnation like no other. The barbs that pierce the victim from within will wind gently around the blade. Uh, a tool of cruelty looks like golden crocs leap up and skewer foe from overhead. It's if sexo, the weapon's bar unfold to excruciate from within, else additional input releases barbs in the area. There is something of the golden order in the sight of those fixed upon this crux. Truly an implement of torture. Summon an apparition of the Lord's head to spew frenzied flame. This incantation can be used while in motion. The apparition will remain for as long as the input is held or you run out of juice. The Lord of frenzied flame shall take their torment, despair, their affliction, every sin, every curse, all melted away. Yet Midra 
like others before him, was too weak to become a lord. Not this one, not Butthole. Her tarnished Butthole shall cleanse this land once again. She already did it once. Why not do it forever? Anyway, let's put some points into this thing. We're going to get it to plus 10, and then we're going to wield it for a while. Oh, I don't have an ancient somber. That is a tragedy. Unfortunately, it also scales pretty hard with dex. About a, the same with faith. So it's not like I am optimal, an optimal build for this weapon, but pretty close to something decent, right? Uh, if I could use some extra dexterity, that would be great, but whatever. I guess we are going to just use a plus nine, I suppose. Ugh. Since I was here, I figured I would continue spending my runes on stones. I have a collection of uh, 99.99 plus on everyone, everything now. And now I'm working on getting this stored for a full storage. All right, let's get back to dirty business. Four paths sprawl before me. The northern paths, this is the ramparts that we saw and we turned around. Will probably lead to this entire region. This is the path that leads here, and I assume leads all, oh, oh please, there you go, <laughs> all the way down to whatever this is, the northern paths. Then we have this hole right here that I don't know where it leads. I just saw it. And I assume it, it, it's looked like a big cave that leads to this area right here. We may go there next, just to get it out of the way. And But the main objective is to go down to the Cerulean coast. That is the next area that I want to do. But I really am curious to see, because this feels like it's just a cave that you can probably explore and be done. So let's go over there first, see what lays in the darkness beneath the mountain. It was, of course, your father who found this path. I never came this way. In fact, I missed that little piece of loot protected by this corpse and the weird floppy tentacles for toad foul food. Oh, exciting. Uh, let's go over here. Looks like we got another skibbity tree fragment. Marika is here guarding the way. Oh, yeah. So, I haven't even checked out the moveset for this thing. It's a great sword. So, very, very standard great sorting. Oh, the strong attack is a thrust. Which makes sense because it really has that that look of it being a thrusting weapon. One-handed, also a thrust. All right. Jump attack. Very standard. Nothing weird about it. Even the roll is a thrust attack. That kind of takes takes points away from it because I like the swings. The thrust attacks kind of bum me out. I've had enough thrust attacks in my life to not be excited about it. They never even paid for it. Well, this is really pathetic damage up on this flower. <laughs> Not exciting at all. Let's use the Ash of War, see what happens. Pa pow Extra inputs shall bring out the thorns. Because clearly there is no... Uh, <laughs> there's no cranium to impale in the, on this flower. And for some reason I'm fighting it. I must be mentally deficient fighting a flower. <laughs> After we have found literally, it must be over a hundred flowers that we have faced in Elden Ring. Ow. Die already. Oh, you're not, uh, you're not dying, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was like a final revenge. That piece of trash. Oh, give me that thing. Definitely not the weapon to fight these things. You want some kind of fire power against them. Oh, we have some more perfumers. Let's see if we can impale the cranium of one of these idiots. Oh, that's uh, unfortunate. <laughs> that's very unfortunate. Oh, I shouldn't underestimate them. Because while they are very easy to murder, eh, uh, their ability to do damage is very, very, very powerful. All the fire blossoms that they can throw at you. Please, impale the cranium. It doesn't. I, I think it needs to be like a actual human enemy. Perhaps heal from afar? 
That sounds interesting. Perhaps even uh, only uh, enemy player. Perhaps only like soldier types. All right. Oh, it does keep going. It's not just a dead end. Fascinating. Oh, I haven't used my incredible flame of frenzy. I must, I must. It does go on over to this marsh, which I anticipated. So let's explore it. I don't suppose it's going to be a very long endeavor. More birds. I'm not really interested in fighting more dirty ass clockwork birds. I'm going to ignore you 100%. You are a pathetic ostrich. And you're not even as aggressive as an emu. If you were an actual emu, I would I would respect you. You being a clockwork dumbass bird, I place zero respect upon your shoulders. You are pathetic and gross and stupid. And you all deserve to be disrespecting the extreme. Give me that piece of loot. Grape bird anklet. Anklets. Ankle. Anklets. Okay. That <laughs> was for some reason I challenged the read. I was busy running for my life. You know what, though? You know what? I'm going to visit upon this clockwork morons. The flame of frenzy. Ooh. Oh, mistakes were made. <laughs> all right, all right. Give me. Come on. I'm trying to set you aflame with my madness. Please allow. Holy crap. Like I said before in a previous instance, while these guys just drop dead so easy. If they uh, catch you and start doing damage, you're going to have a real bad time. Please! Oh, yeah. Burn! Burn the flames of frenzy! Oh, that was very satisfying. Man, it really eats through your juice, though. Absolutely atrocious. Stop it. Get help. Rough. Really cool though. It's basically what was it called again? I need now. Nah, I need to look at it. It is unendurable frenzy plus. That is what it is, and I really liked it. So it's going to be uh, a fixture on my repertoire as we go forward. Uh, this, uh, these marshes are pretty large. Pretty large indeed. Really don't care. But any more of these idiots? The loot over here is probably nothing to be excited about. Smith and Stone 3? Oh, yeah. Just keeping that carrot at the end of this stick. This bird-shaped stick that keeps humiliating me. Humiliating me. Raoul base. Uh, excuse me? This is, instead of closing up into a cave, it has expanded into a new area. All right, well, <laughs> it just goes into a new area. I didn't expect that. So we're going to grab the side of Grace, and we're going to call it a successful expedition. We will be back in the future. For now, we go down to the Cerulean coast, and we will at last explore the Southlands, where all the blue wonders exist. It was very pretty over here. Really, really liking it. The look... The blooming fields. Gorgeous stuff. Pretty big, too. Let's get started. Go on, butthole. Let us erase all the monsters dwelling in these parts. More charred idiots. We don't really like them. We think they're stupid and gross. Let me just whoopla, get wrecked, son. I just killed your dog. How do you feel about that? Ah, I'm going to just let you live. I'm going to let you live dogless. For what is even the point anymore? When your best friend has been murdered in front of you. Is this more ashes? No, some grave glove wart that I have zero interest in. Is there anything funky here? Are these ships? These look like, yeah. Are they ships? Very square they are. But they really do look like naval vessels. Driven aground and overtaken by the by the wildland. 
wonder how the hell the, the, did this end up happening. Anyway. 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 Let me just murder you real quick. I did not murder you. I have failed and now I need to take off in embarrassment. Alright. A few, uh, few ships over there. Oh. I'm in combat. I cannot bring up the map. Is that loot? No. It's not loot. Alright. We'll just keep going down to the marshes. Looks very open area. Smells like dragon. Not gonna lie. Every time there's an open marsh somewhere, some kind of... Re ah! You son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I speak Elden Ringese, okay? I know the shape of this video game. I can predict its beats. I can see the movement of the music that moves it. Oh! Uh, I don't have, right now, fire protection. Or you should get it. How about... We flee? That is the beauty of open world fights. You get ambushed, and it's like, alright, let me just turn around and, and go get myself a little bit of protection real quick. If you don't mind, uh, Mr. Ghost Flame Dragon, let me uh, flee from you and get myself some black, some flame protect me. Alright, looking pretty good. Let's go back in to this filthy dragon. In fact, oh, I do have some flame frame, flame and protection. So we'll be fine. We'll be just fine. This dragon cannot stop me. They cannot destroy me. They can do nothing against me. Damn. The chosen tarnished. Bah! <laughs> ah, this but a scratch. Whoa! <laughs> Is but a flesh wound. Do your worst, foe. Hark! Oh no! <laughs> Probably should heal that up. Because he's gonna do another one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you even avoid that? Probably jumping? Uh, excuse me, you dumbass reptile. I am over here. You are literally setting aflame your own habitat, not fighting this battle against the most mightiest of foes that you have ever encountered in your pathetic sorry existence. Oh, jeez! Right away from here! Oh! Okay, that's not nearly as intimidating as I anticipated. Hurrah! Why are you even yelling? Oh, you created people! This ain't right. This ain't right. It was a fair fight. We were doing... We were doing battle 1v1, but you had to bring your friends! You absolute coward. 1v1 mean D-Dust. You idiot buffoon. You know what? You know what? You're gonna... You're gonna get it now. You're gonna get it. Midras Flensy is coming for you. He's rampaging. Midras Flen Frenzy! Commence! Son of a... <laughs> I'm trying to visit the flame of madness upon you. But your troop of buffoons... Bleh. Stop it from happening. Count yourself lucky, you filthy cheater. Well, that was a total waste. I like that it... it uh, the flame of Frenzy, it just... It can stop immediately. I don't think I'm doing zero damage to him. <laughs> so, let's stop playing silly, silly games. Ha! Stop playing silly games and end this fight. Taking him. It's a freaking dragon! Take it seriously, damn it! Pretty annoying how <laughs> these scumbags keep chasing me in the face. Woo! Ow! Bruh. I need that extra bit of healing. Stop! How obnoxious! There, I kill your friends. How you feel about that, huh? Ah! <laughs> he was not very pleased with it. I don't know what you're doing. But it's definitely not attacking me. Or at least not successfully attacking me. <laughs> Idiot. Holy crap, man. 
in the face? Oh my god. He's gonna jump down! It's the ads that make this obnoxious as hell. <laughs> All the damn mobs being summoned. Oh man, he's actually maggot infested in the eyeball. I did not notice that before. Are you are we done here? No! You still have Yeah, okay, we're done. Hey, hey, your summoner has died. How about you go all shove these spears right up your butthole, huh? You pieces of scum? Hey, exactly what I was looking for. Exactly what I was looking for. That is the somber ancient stone that I desire. How did I do? You got down to one piece of healing. Not great. All right. Cannot bring out the map because probably there is yet another undead piece of garbage. Harshing my mellow. Oh, there's a giant structure over there. Why am I even attacking, brother? Grave Cricket. That's new. All right, let's go over here. I don't know what this structure is, but there's another dog over here. Die! Man, very hardy. Here. Get destroyed. Okay, feels good to eradicate completely helpless fauna. Always like the running attack of the great swords. It's very good. That nice little big swing with the spin. Very cool. Really? No plump sort? No crouching ahead required? No uh, silly quip in the messages on the floor? Deep purple lily. <sighs> I was thinking, the Souls series, of course it's on my top five. It's been a while since I have, hey, that's right, the map. Since I have visited my top ten of all time. I do have one, I just uh, have not thought about it for a while. So I couldn't tell you exactly where it's at. It's probably like number four or something like that. But within the Souls games, where would I rate Elden Ring? I think I'll absolutely put it at the top. I really, really enjoy the open world exploration added to the Souls formula. The Dark Souls games, I played hundreds and hundreds of hours of them. Still, I think Elden Ring surpasses them all. Sure, they all have their strengths, of which Elden Ring is slightly weaker on. But over the overall experience, man, it's so great. Anyway, we, we are way down here, huh? Didn't I realize we had traveled that far? I guess I'll just keep going forward. Keep going up the up the path. Since we have made it this far, might as well get to the peak, get to the point. To the cape. Oh, is that a freaking cross of Mikola? Let's follow. It's bright guiding light. Find another piece of body for kind Mikola. I'm sure he's going to turn out to be a misunderstood villain. That's going to explode in electricity, isn't it? Yeah, we don't like the we don't like the will o' the wisps. The will o' wisps are deadly. There's always an NPC. Who is here today? Really, nobody. That's the first time we find a cross of Mikola without somebody to talk to. Nectar Blood Virgin. That's such an interesting name that I must check it out. Many of colossal stone coffins of unknown origin that seemingly drifted into this place to the east, the jagged peak thrust upward into the clouds. Exceedingly rare to find a young shoot, heavy with velvety purple nectar material used for crafting, said to burgeon forth where the nectar blood, nectar like blood of abandoned Trina pooled. This is a very Trina themed area. Ah, introspection. Another skibbity tree fragment. I abandon here my doubt and vacillation. Is that in your spleen? Maybe it's in your, your kid left kidney? Is that what you abandoned here? Hey, we get our thing back. Do I... I have finally reached the point where I'm like, do I want to keep putting on blessings? The game's becoming fairly... You know, it's not trivial, but it's, it is less than the usual source challenge. Let's stave off the expenditure of these skibbity tree fragments until I am finding a, a difficult challenge really hard and I'm like oh, okay okay it's time to spend cashing our our shadow tree or I guess shadow tree 
chips. All right. Oh, wow, wow. How exciting we have hands. How great. I love to see the hands. My favorite. Um, so I guess we have a bit of a choice to make. Do we want to go down? Or do we want to explore all the way to this path, to the giant freaking peak? Either way, we must explore it. We haven't been to any of these places, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We came from here. This is the Mons. Dragon, Dragon Spit Terminus. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So we... Aha, uh -huh, okay. I'm trying to make sense of this freaking map. And I just now realize... Cerulean Coast. And there was also the Dragon Pit, Dragon Spit Terminus. I remember that air, whole area, but... I actually did not mark it as a place that we can go. Completely forgot about it. One day if it... Let's put a, a marker right there. Please. There you go. But remove this one. Remove it. Move it right now. Because um, there's another place that we need to go through. But it probably connects through here. Uh, with that in mind, let's see if it does. Anyway, but now I got myself my somber... Stone, let's uh, put a plus 10 on this thing. Oh, <laughs> fully powered. All right, let's see what's at the top of this hill. And then we're going to make our way down to where those hands are at. And if I were to guess, it totally connects with all this dragon barrow kind of area kind of place. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what we can find. Are you my, uh, did I just aggro the electro... Horrible monster. Hope not. Probably did. Yep, it is. Lightning right behind me. Wonder what these grave glove words grow. Oh, jeez! <laughs> That's a freaking cliff! <laughs> uh, did not realize. I think I can make it across, though. Hey! Oh! Okay, good. <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> that was absolutely needless to do. Or was it? Yeah, there's, I don't think there's any other way to reach this, this spot. Probably means there's some good loot to be found. Saint Trina's Disciple Book. What do you do? Eternal Sleep Pot. Probably Sleep Pot that use hefty proportions. So totally worth coming up to this land. What are you? A giant freaking goat? Hello. How about I uh, destroy you? Get absolutely wrecked, goat. No respect for sacred animals here. That is the kind of uh, creature that would be revered. Could this, this be dragon? Holy crap. I see it. I absolutely see it. So it, it's like a cross from there, but... Doesn't seem to like uh, we can do much. Oh, yeah. I don't think that is uh, safe to go down there. What's at the bottom here, though? I wonder if I'm supposed to go down that path. Or... Oh, I see a piece of loot! I must go get it, even though it, you know it's another freaking glove wart. Yup. Mmm, this one's shinier. Probably it's at the max level glove wart. You know it. <laughs> I don't really give a crap about these. But I'm glad to have it. Alright, so... I am descending, right? That's not what I'm doing. I am descending this whole area. I think this is safe to go down. This doesn't look safe to me. Looks like absolute suicide to go down this path. But this area right here... Well, we're finding out. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Let's go up a little bit. I think I, we're going to go back to the path if we go out this way. It's important to get the lay of the land. Make sure that it's all connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That goes back to the path. Uh, and then you can make the choice of whether going to the peak. This is a reminder here. There you go. That I want to eventually go back to the peak. But I first will descend upon this land of magical sentient hands. The shore shall be explored. Maybe there is a nice shoreside cave. Some sweet loot. Maybe there is just hand madness. What do you have to say? No precious item ahead. I'll be the judge of that, buddy. You're not the boss of me. 
This is actually the descent, right? So obviously there is no precious item ahead because it's just a traversal area. To be able to make it over here, there's just two paths that lead to this spot, but you don't need to. Uh, we're not doing battle with giant hands. Wonder how far the shore goes. You know how uh, Elden Ring water has a tendency to just stop existing. <laughs> yeah, there's the edge. Alrighty. Not sure where there was anything up there. And also, we have not gone up this path. We must, absolutely must, with ascending that path. Uh, excuse me. Do not chase me with your foolishness. Bliss ahead. I'll be the judge of that. Probably is another idiotic glove wart. These look like ships, you know, vessels. But it said that it was graves. But I may have been referring to a completely different thing. Seems like ancient ships got uh, driven aground here. All right, there's absolutely nothing to be found here. Just more idiotic, dirty ass hands. So we're just going forward, hopefully to find something extremely valuable. If nothing else, we'll be able to climb up that area. I am assuming that this is just the connection to the dragon area that we found earlier. Way, way earlier. Maybe like 20 episodes ago. <laughs> you evil viper. Trying to get me. It's nothing to be found here, right? Or this does this, it does double back and keeps climbing up. Okay, all right. We are going up. Are you guys get, do you guys get mad? No. Interesting. These things are everywhere. <sighs> Six of them, you say. Six smithing stones. Damn. So glad to have them. I mean, they're nice to have. If somebody... The only reason you would ever be remotely chuffed to find something like that is you started a new game and you rushed Moog because you really wanted to do the DLC and you're getting your ass pounded in. So here you are. Excited to get a few little upgrade stones to get your weapons to plus seven. There's no other reason that you ever be excited about those, but it's all a thing of, you know, it's like a tool to guide the player. There's a shiny, so you're going to go there. And in the process of that, you're going to keep exploring the environment. All right, let's see what's behind door number 23 there is a horrible disgusting pit of protruding fingers from the land this just gives my butthole roused with horripilation finger ruins of Raya all right finger ruins you say shall we found find even more madness here it just goes all the way over here. And it's finger ruins, and this really has the exact same look as this. So there's different fingers being found all over the place. Not going to go down there just yet, because you guys know me. It's very important that I exhaust every path. But I don't think there was much else to be seen. Let me just go and, and check it out real quick. Came all the way back down to the shore. Got myself my shadow uh, rune. How great to have come down here. <laughs> Let's see. If, oh, no, that's the edge. There's like literally nothing. I came back down here, traversed the wilderness. There's absolutely nothing. I see this piece of trash in the sand, though. Look at this piece of garbage trying to ambush me. Not going to happen, sir. You're going to starve to death today. All right. Let's go down to the finger ruins, or is that something I want to do? Do I want to maybe double back and leave this as another ex area of exploration? Because I'm also extremely curious about this peak right here. And this seems like, you know, it, it takes some involvement. So let's go back to the peak. That's what I wanted to check out. Oh! <laughs> 
Please do not murder me! All I was doing was riding freely through your lands. Oh, look, it's more ghost glove work. Must have it. Look, it's a shiny! I must click on it, ow. I must have it. There you go. Oh! <laughs> All right, let's keep going up this path. Seems like um, some more... Some more pool tentacles. Swimming pool noodles. They're all extremely mad to see me coming. Actually, most of them are not. Oh, a troll? Who loves to throw giant jars, of course. Could not be any other way. Very rude. Very rude indeed. We are not intimidated by such uh, silly tactics. You're going to get absolutely obliterated by the power of butthole. You are absolute trash. You are pretty tanky, though. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Do a lot of grunting and a lot of whining. Get wrecked, son. Face plant your ass. That made no sense whatsoever. Literally cannot face plant your ass. We're not trying to make any sense. We're just trying to make violence. And I am very, very deft of doing the violent dance. Oh man, <laughs> I ran out die to this pathetic trash garbage monster that we have vanquished over a hundred times. That's right, drop right on your ass. Hefty crack butt, all right, don't mind if I do. Very happy to get one of those. Always glad to get the giant paws to throw up people's heads. Especially with all the versatility that we've been picking up. There's all kinds of pots. Every variety under the sun. And then one of these gets picked up. What do you have to say about this nonsense? Regret. Yeah, regret of coming all the way over here. Because what an idiotic waste of time. This just stinks. If not dragon, it's going to be some kind of horrible monster. Maybe a psycho on a, on a boar. You, you move, your rocks that move. <laughs> Very unsettling. Of all the monsters, suddenly the scenery being all weird and liquidy like that, that actually creeped me out at a, at a, at a deep level <laughs> for a moment there. It was very disturbing. Okay, well, we have a giant chasm here. Very funky. I don't know why that formation is there. Seems like something dropped in there. Something cracked the land in twain. Massive crater. Surely there's going to be some kind of something interesting at the top of the cliff, right? You're not just going to blue ball the crap out of me as I go all the way up here. I find absolutely nothing. All I got was a hefty crack pot. I feel like a crack pot. Just coming all the way over here. Well, here's a man meditating on a piece of loot. How about you? I mean, a cookbook is a cookbook. Can't really bitch about it. Eternal sleep grease. Androsting eternal sleep grease. Something maybe I should partake on. Cricket that produces raspy cry material used for crafting. The sound of these crickets are often taken to be the rustling of the restless dead, or sometimes the sound of their calling voices. I would like to indeed craft. Let's see what it takes to make some of that. If I can find it. Golden, freezing, soporific, eternal sleep. You need five deep purple lilies. Come on, brother. That is uh, excessive. I'm going to take my frustrations out on these uh, magnificent eagles. You Did you really make me come all the way up here for that? Nobody made me. I did it. But come on, brother. Extremely anticlimactic. <laughs> I really thought there would be something momentous up here. That was ass, I guess. I guess uh, I, we do need to come down this way. And then we'll go into that dragon area. Holy crap, it's 50 minutes having too much fun in the lands between and the realm of shadow. It is just such a good time. More pool noodles ever. Hey! One of these fellas. I forget the name of these guys. Please don't spit at me. You, you, you don't spit at me. That is absolutely disgusting. 
<laughs> Extremely <laughs> disturbing image. Truly horrific. Butthole does not approve. Very powerful. In the sense that they can damage you quite a lot. Here, how about you eat one of these? Get wrecked, son. Happy that you have succumbed to my incredible might. I don't want to fight any more of you ever again. Alright, so we are traversing this particular path. We ignore birds around these parts. I really should be grabbing all the flowers, considering how many crafting materials you need for that, uh, for those greases. Freaking annoying. So give me a come over here, quickly grab these. Do -do 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 -do. Ah! Wow! <laughs> There's another one of those, but we don't really care for them. We're just going to grab the thing and uh, get the hell out of here. Gravekeeper's cookbook. Oh, you need to die, though. You have extra runes for me. 9,000 out of that pathetic wretch. Ooh, that looks like a side of grace. All right, we're going to call it there. A pretty anticlimactic episode. Really did not do much of anything. We did murder a dragon, though. That's pretty great. But I really was hoping to find some kind of something at the peak, or something, something interesting and exciting. But I'm going to explore whatever the hell this is, and if I can reach it. Pretty sure you can traverse this whole area, right? And see if I can get across to this island. And then probably the next episode we'll also explore this entire area, probably find the connection over that, and we'll be done with this entire south exploration and we'll move on to the north area but holy is excited <laughs>